<laughs> this is the iLoud MTM Studio Monitors. I've done some dope mixes with the iLoud Micros. So I'm very excited to see how this bad guy enhances my workflow. Okay, let's see what's in the box. The iLoud MTMs, right? I'm very, very excited about this. So I'm guessing this will be all of the... Let's see. Mm, okay. So this is the cable for the for the calibration mic. I'm more on that later. And then and then you have the first stand. The power cable. The second stand. You know, this one helps you angle the speaker away from the table. You have a We have quick start guide and then last but not least in my opinion this is the star of the show right this is the calibration mic this is what you use to calibrate the iLoud mtms to your space right this is amazing i can't wait to try it out so along with the mic you also get like a, a very nice what do you call this mic placement <laughs> I can't remember the right name for this, but you know what I mean. This is where you put the mic and put it on top of your, your mic stand or whatnot. Yeah. And then the allowed MTMs in all of its glory. I'm going to wait. Okay. Let me set the box aside for a minute. Look at that. You know what? <laughs> I was trying to not rip this thing like a savage, but it. I guess it's too late now. Yeah. Wow. So this is the iLoud MTM, guys. It's, it's a very, very beautiful studio monitor. The iLoud MTMs. <laughs> so I guess this is everything that comes in the box. According to Dolby specifications, you are advised or required to use the same studio monitors right i mean it's the same size the same brand for your dolby atmos studio setup and i've chosen to use the iloud mtms from ik multimedia for my 7.1.4 dolby atmos setup now 7.1.4 just simply means we have seven surrounds right seven surround monitors so that's your center right left right surround left surround right rear surround left rear surround right the dot one is the lfe it's your lfe channel that's your deep sub more on that later and then the dot four is the four height channels so two forward two backward basically you know right left but bit you know what i'm talking about so the iLoud has an mtm configuration that means mid woofer twitter mid woofer configuration mtm hence the name basically right this is the 3.5 inch woofer one inch twitter 3.5 inch woofer at the bottom i think they're made from propylene the housing is plastic, by the way. It's a very, very sleek studio monitor. And that's another reason I went with this because I don't want a bulky Dolby Atmos setup, right? But I want something that is slick, that is portable, but still be able to deliver amazing sound representation across all the frequency spectrum. So what do we have in the back? So we have the LF extension button. You have the low frequency, the high frequency. These are just like, you know, buttons that help you to make tiny adjustments across the frequency range. Um, you have the calibration button more on that in a bit and then you have the sense i don't know what this is for yet i'm going to have to check so you obviously you have the power button you have the input quarter inch or xlr you have the input for the arc mic this guy again more on that and they have a usb um, port as well also you have the volume button but i'm also noticing right the volume button doesn't have like a midpoint you know how normally if you are turning your button like this when you get to the middle you would get some feedback so you know you're at the midpoint this one doesn't have that but eh, i guess you can have to gauge it right <laughs> so another very important reason i'm getting this uh monitors is because of the arc technology it has self-calibration so basically the monitors can calibrate itself to your space using this mic how that works is you connect the mic you know using this cable to the back of the monitor 
you put it on a mic stand, place that mic stand at your listening position, right? And then it's going to send some signals to the monitor to help you calibrate itself to your space. So, so that way you don't need a perfectly acoustically treated room, <laughs> right? To be able to get amazing or perfect representations of sound across all the frequency range. That's amazing, man. That's beautiful. And I cannot wait to try this out. So that's it. This is the MTM. The Dolby Atmos setup is slowly, slowly coming together and I cannot wait to unveil it to you guys, right? And before I forget, the bass reaches down to 40 hertz. That's amazing for this size of speaker. You know, for comparison, my current 8-inch monitors get down to 38 hertz. Do you understand how crazy that is? These monitors rival a lot of 8-inch monitors in the market. That's amazing. So that's it. This is the IK Multimedia iLoud MTM. This is what I've chosen to use for the Dolby Atmos 7.1.4 setup. If you like this content, make sure you drop me a like, drop a comment. If you have questions, subscribe so you can stay up to date with the Dolby.1.4 Atmos setup as well as gems that I'm currently dishing out on my channel. Okay. All right. So that's going to be it for now, man. I shall see you on the next hour. Bye bye. <laughs>